Okay, I have a bike here. It's upside down. And this is the PAS control, the PAS sensor. And that right there is the magnet. Okay, this comes in one set. Now, you don't have to have this exact model. This one, model C2005, but you should have one that kind of looks like this. And it has to have this plug three prong plug I mean I could sell you this for 10 bucks if you want me to but maybe you want to get your own I don't know uh, so then you have this sensor you're going to open up your controller which is that little box underneath the seat there's four little screws I guess I have to make another video of that because I don't have that set up here but you unscrew the controller you take it the controller box you take this and right here this is the PAS sensor now the more challenging part is to thread it back through the frame you know and have it come out this hole but you can also just use zip ties to tie it to the frame now how do you remove this crank well you can google removing a, a left crank or you can kind of watch this video here. You, you take a screwdriver and you unscrew this. Underneath here, there is a, a, a bolt that you got to undo with like a socket, like a half, I think it's a half inch. Then you have to get what's called a crank remover tool. And you, you screw it in there and then this thing pops out, okay? Then you're gonna to have to replace that old sensor with the new sensor. And hopefully, and plug it in. I wouldn't thread it and all that until I tested it first. Uh, and then test it and see if it works. Should work. Um, especially since you said your arrow up button works. That means the whole system is still working. Um, and that's what the engineer said. They think it's the sensor.